All right, so obviously this is the bonus video, but it's much more important, I think, because yeah, so you, you just went through all of those different problem solving tools. You saw what they looked like. Maybe you were like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it works for me. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Now let's take a look at an experience that I had a couple of days ago. So I have this page stuff I draw out. I've been drawing out stuff for a while. And there was one lady, she is in Canada. And she says, hey, my boss asked me to write a report. And I said, all right, so what's this report going to be about? And she said, well, he wants me to write a report about the uh, customer acquisition rate and the cost per acquisition. All right, so, and then she went online and she found a bunch of different methodologies for how to calculate a customer acquisition rate. And then obviously your customer acquisition rate is going to influence your cost per acquisition. So what we had to do was the first thing we had to do was start brainstorming. All right. So we didn't do the nominal group technique because we're working together. All right. So we start brainstorming and I just said, Hey, like what's going on? Like, what is this all about? Uh, uh, what are some ideas you need to think about? And so she was telling me things like, well, you know, you have to have a sales qualified lead. And then, you know, they book it. I said, what's a sales qualified lead? She said, well, that's somebody who books a demo and then they need to book a demo before they can become a, cu a customer. And then she starts and I said, well, how do you get a sales qualified lead? And she said, well, you have to get that from the leads. And then where do the leads come from? She said, those come from visits. And where do the visits come from? Uh, they come from our reach. Well, actually, she said they come from from the website visits and social media visits. And, and where do you get that from? That's talking about your reach. I said, what's reach? She said the total number of people that see us in some way. And so, you know, then we started to pull those things together. I started asking more questions. All right. So now what we needed to do was we needed to start thinking about the affinity diagram, the mind map. So we got a bunch of ideas out and now you can see how the mind map are creating connections between like some ideas. All right. So what are leads? She said a lead. It's, it's people that show interest. And I said, well, okay. So how do people show interest? Like, what do you mean? And she said, all right, well, all right. So like they, they came to our website and they spent more than eight seconds on the site. Okay, perfect. So that's some specific, uh, that's some specific information. Now, where do the leads come from? She said they come from the visits. All right, so we got our visits. Now, what do you mean by visits? She said social media visits and website visits. Now, obviously, like I added some questions, like how do we increase visits? How do we increase uh, leads? But we didn't answer those questions at the time. So, but what we did was we, we started talking about reach. So what's reach and how do we increase reach? She said, well, to increase reach, we need to be seen more. Now, all right, so now we continue to go down. So let's talk about a flow chart, a decision tree. And then also you can see the force field analysis. So over here, the force field analysis, we're talking about a desired state. All right, so what's driving us? Well, we want more customers. And what's preventing us from getting more customers? What's restraining us? Well, we need great content. We need better, bigger budget. And we have a lack of knowledge for where we should advertise. All right, so you can see how these problem-solving techniques are really interesting. And what about this other one? So what about the, the flow chart? So on the right side, we have a flow chart. All right, so we need to be seen more. So it means we need paid ads. So we get some paid ads. And if yes, it means we have more reach. Well, what if we pay for ads, but we don't have more reach? Well, that means we need better quality ads. And what if we still don't get more reach even after we have better quality ads? That means no, it means we, we need to better understand our customer segments. So here we came to the same conclusion, lack of knowledge for where we should advertise and better understanding our customer segments. All right, so a report where this lady, she was asked to make a report about the customer acquisition rate and cost per acquisition. And using all of these different problem solving tools, what we discovered was the two main issues that people face in advertising is knowing where you should advertise, what should be in your message and how to better understand your customer segments. That's a bonus.